Welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. I'm Julie Baca. I've got a really easy fun fold card to show you how to make today. I, I love this. It's so impressive, but so, so simple. I've got some paper saving tips to show you when we make this card. You can find all of the measurements for this and any of my projects over on my website, sunnydaystamping.com. You can also purchase the supplies right from there. Now we're going to be making this card together, but I've got three other ones to show you using different stamp sets so that you can see how you can adjust, um, use this layout and just use the stamp set that you have at home. So um, also, if you are going to purchase from me, I have a shopper rewards program. So with every um, $50 that you spend, you earn a point and when you accumulate five points, I buy you a stamp set of your choice and send it to you so you can um, collect one point by spending $50 on one order, that's before tax and shipping, or let's say you spend $100 on an order, you get two points. So get to five and you get a free stamp set. You can find all the details for that. There's a description in the description down below or over on my website. Let's get started. Here's a close up of the card I'm going to show you how to make. I just love this little, little detail and every example that I'm going to show you has a little detail element that does not take that much time or extra, that many extra supplies, but just makes your handmade card really special. Now we're going to be using the same supplies for all of the examples. We're just going to be switching out the stamp set. The other um, uh, difference is I'm going to be using different colors in all the examples, but only these three plus black. Now in the example that we're making together, I'm only going to be using the black one. Now the designer series paper we're going to be using is T Boutique. It comes with 48 sheets of this six by six paper and it's all double sided. They all coordinate with each other. And then on the back of, this is how I chose the colors that I was going to use. I, if you look on the back of your designer series paper, it tells you which colors are in here, which makes it so easy. You just pick the ones that you have or your favorite ones, and you know that your card is going to be perfectly coordinated. Now, I'm not going to shout out all the, uh, <laughs> all the measurements for these. These are over on my website, sunnydaystamping.com. There's also a link down in the description that says, get the measurements. If you click that, it's going to take you to the the blog post you'll get the cutting measurements the scoring measurements and you can also purchase all of the supplies right over there on my website now if you'd prefer to have a print and make project sheet emailed to you I send these to my email subscribers and you can sign up for my email list uh, down below in that description also it has the cutting measurements some written instructions and all of the supplies right on here you can also find this information over on my website. Now, I just wanted to note I am using, oh, I'm, I'm showing you my examples, but <laughs> um, I'm using different stamp sets and those are gonna be listed in the supplies. So if you go to purchase these, just unclick them from your cart if they aren't the stamp and die sets that you want. Um, so you can just adjust that easily. I just wanted you to know everything that I used because a lot of times people, um, especially if you're new to stamping, you're like, I don't know where to start. I don't know what you what I need. I add everything that I use so that there's no guesswork. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Leave me a comment. I am so happy to help you with that. All right, I wanna show you my first paper saving tip. You can see that the designer series paper goes onto this card, but it's covered up here and it's covered up here. So what I did is I, I cut out from the middle of here because it's gonna be layered anyway, and I'm gonna save this for another project. So same with this piece, I cut this out so I can use this with another project. I mean, look, how, aren't those so cool together? They're gonna coordinate together in a different project because the, they're from the same designer series paper set. But this, this big hole is gonna be covered up and no one's gonna know. Now we're gonna get started making the card, but I'm gonna show you my next paper saving tip. Now on the instructions, it's gonna say cut your card base and then cut your card base pullout. But I want you to cut the pullout first because it's longer. So if you cut your paper in half first, then you're gonna be able to cut everything out of this one piece of cardstock. If you cut your card base first, you're gonna end up having to pull out another sheet of paper. So now, now that you have this cut in half lengthwise, we're gonna do our first cut, which is nine and three quarters by four and a quarter. And then we're going to score that. Oh my gosh, I hope that's straight. Oh yeah, okay, good. <laughs> now we're going to score that at, what does this say? 
where is it? Oh, three and a quarter and six and a half. So this is gonna be that folded section in the front. Now you can take this other half and finish cutting out the rest of your pieces. So we're gonna just cut this at five and a half and the measurement is five and a half by four and a quarter, but we already cut it at four and a quarter. So you don't have to do that part. And this last piece is two and a half by three inches. There, now you just have these left over and you can save this for another project. Now we're gonna do our stamping and cutting and I realized now I had too many pieces of paper when I showed you the number of supplies. You just need two of these small white pieces of paper and then a scrap for stamping your cutout. So I'm actually going to stamp, this is the focal point of our card, this small one. So I'm gonna stamp this, but I'm also gonna stamp it over here and cut it out. And I, I really like it layered on top of each other. So if you're looking at your card from an angle, it's not just white under there. I don't know, sometimes I like that. Sometimes um, I do it a different way. So now we're just gonna add a little hello there. And I love this um, cursive and print together. This is from this Nature's Print. Um, you're gonna see me using this stamp set quite a bit and I'm actually gonna be featured on um, my Team Leads YouTube channel using this stamp set. So now I'm just gonna cut this out with my die. Now you can also just cut this out with scissors. All of the examples I'm gonna show you, you, you don't need the die. You can cut them out with scissors if you prefer. Now this is gonna be the inside of the card and I'm just gonna put this beautiful fern on here. And then this, a heartfelt thank you. Oh no, it's crooked. All right, time to flip. Hmm, it's still a little crooked. I think I didn't line up my stamp on my block, but we're just gonna go with this. So we're gonna set these out of the way and bring in our big piece of crumb cake that we cut and put our big piece of designer series paper right on top of that, centering it up. Now take your pullout. In the instructions, I call this a pullout, but I guess it would be an accordion or something. <laughs> You're really gonna wanna um, make these, burnish these uh, folds really well so this lays more flat because this Stampin' Up! cardstock is so thick that it really makes this puff up. So now you're gonna take, if you end up cutting a hole, you're gonna take the, the one that has the hole cut and put that on the front because your focal point is gonna go over that hole and cover it up. Obviously, this is optional. You do not have to cut that out. I just um, love to save these pretty papers. I have the hard enough time using them. And so when it's going to be wasted underneath something, I like to <laughs> cut it out. Now, all you see that all the pretty stuff is on this side. There's nothing on this side. So you're gonna fold this up and this is gonna go directly on top of here. So you're gonna put glue on this side. Cover, cover up your cutout if you made it. Make sure it doesn't peek through. So you could leave this just like this, but we're gonna add in this little extra oomph. And I am gonna pop this up with Stampin' Dimensionals. I think I'm going to put one on that little flower, but this is not going to fit, so I'm going to cut it down. You could also use the mini dimensionals, but I don't have those handy right now. Oh boy, I'm going to have to cut that in half again. And I'm going to line this up. Well, I got to take these off. And I'm going to line this up directly over that flower that we stamped. See, I don't know. I just think that looks good stamped underneath. Now we'll add a little bow. This linen thread makes tie-in bows so easy because honestly, this part is hard for me. Okay, so that looks ridiculous, right? So no, don't, don't give up. Just pull the ends until you get that nice shape. Look at that. Now pull the, um, what do you call those? The loops until that's nice and tight. And then you can continue to shape it. Bam, I got it. Uh oh, I had a stamp of dimensional still stuck on there. Now you can glue that on there with glue, um, but I 
like to use these mini glue dots when I'm attaching bows. It just is easier for me. And it extends past the knot in the bow, so I just kind of roll this glue up on top of itself. And then we're going to put it right there. So here's the one we made using nature's prints, and I did use the die to cut that out. The next one I used Flowering Tulips, which is one of my favorite stamp sets. Again, this is the same designer series paper, just different ones out of that same pack. And I added a little double ribbon as the detail. For this one, I used the Dragonfly Garden stamp set and the punch to punch out that dragonfly. Same designer series paper, same measurements, same crumb cake. Again, all of the examples I made are using this T Boutique designer series paper, but I mean, and this is designed to go with this stamp set, but you can see that you can use this paper with any other stamp set you have. Just choose colors that coordinate with the paper. So this is with the awesome cup of tea. I did use the die to cut that out, but you can um, cut it with scissors. And then I just put a little same linen thread I used on the other one. I just um, taped it behind that cup and then popped these up with dimensionals. If you liked this project and this video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. You can also subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see more videos when, as soon as they come out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a sunny day.